Kamala Khan's family loves her, and she loves them, but especially powered teenager or not, there's been familial fights, struggles, and clashes before in the Miss Marvel comic book saga. And now that the Miss Marvel miniseries episodes are dropping on Disney+, Plus, you may wonder what clashes, if any, you'll see over the six episodes that are currently on tap to premiere. Given Kevin Feige's representations as to just how important Miss Marvel is to the MCU, her story is likely to continue to unfold long after the Miss Marvel series ends and the upcoming movie, The Marvels, begins, which it's also been confirmed Kamala Khan will factor into. And I do think that her family members are going to continue to factor into things too. I'll explain why at the end of the video. So it's important that you understand the Khan family-based dynamics Fights and all, moving forward. So, welcome back to the Mama Saga, where this Marvel-loving mama is a mother by day, but breaks down comic book sagas, movies, and shows like Miss Marvel by night. Now, to lay down a proper foundation, even before Kamala Khan becomes Miss Marvel, we have her pre-superhero origin, familial struggles. So before the Terrigen Mist, Amin and Human backstory occurs in the Miss Marvel comic book saga, and likely before her encountering the Negabands in the Disney Plus miniseries, Kamala Khan has her own internal struggles that sometimes involves her family members, sometimes not. She's a Pakistani-American who is also a practicing Muslim, so her family and her faith certainly sometimes put her a bit at odds with that of the typical experiences and backgrounds of a lot of Kamala's fellow students at Cole's Academic High School in Jersey City, New Jersey, let's say. But not always. Hmm. Let's see. Since they arrived in the United States from Pakistan, Kamala's family has been very involved in her life, even when she had to meet her teachers going into second grade. She really does have a happy family who cares about one another. Her parents are very loving towards one another and their children. And dad is actually more Americanized than you'd think, working at a bank in the classic corporate stiff suit and tie, drinking from a mug that says grooviest dad. So there's a lot of typical teenager clashing with parental figures dynamics going on from pretty much the beginning in the Miss Marvel comic book saga, such as Kamala asking to go to a party and being shot down by her folks. Then Kamala ends up going to the party anyway and getting busted afterwards. Sure, the cons do spend family time together, but oftentimes Kamala wants to do things her way, which is sometimes very different from what her parents would like, and it's frustrating for her even though she loves her family especially as it grows and her nephew comes into her life, but she chafes against her family's being overprotective, like when her brother Amir serves as a chaperone while she's out and about with Cameron, a boy whose family is friends with the Khan family, and well, what do you know? They introduce their children at a dinner the family share together. Nice little setup there, but still, whether Cameron's approved date material or not, there's a chaperone sent out with them anyway, in the form of Brother Amir. And Kamala's not down with that. She even goes off with Cameron in his car the next time they hang out, and her family's not thrilled about it. But though the Khan family members clash, no matter how much Kamala might struggle with self-acceptance, as many teens do, her parents are always there to tell her that she's great just the way she is, just as good parents always do. Then we enter the phase of the Miss Marvel comic book saga where there's the post-superhero origin familial struggles. So in the, in the Marvel comics, after Kamala Khan becomes Miss Marvel, she's got a whole new superhero-related life that she hides from her parents. And I mean, what teenager doesn't hide at least something from their parents, right? So Kamala just has something big died from her folks as she sneaks out to save the residents of Jersey City, New Jersey. That's all. Of course, when her parents chide her for being out and about a lot, on the one hand, that's totally common for most teens, 
whose lives begin to involve their family less and less. The parents bristle, they don't love that. But on the other hand, Kamala's got to keep her superhero identity a secret, and that is sometimes hard to do, especially with parents that are very strict and observant like her parents are. In fact, it's so hard that in the comic book saga anyway, Kamala's mother eventually puts two and two together and tells Kamala that she knows that she's Miss Marvel, but ultimately tells her daughter that it's okay because she's made peace with the fact that if her daughter sneaks out and breaks rules that the family set down, if she does that, well, then Maneva feels like she's raised a righteous child, and that's more important in the grand scheme of things. And in fact, it's the words of Kamala's father, Yusuf, that directs Kamala to save her first victim as a superhero, which was her arch enemy, Zoe Zimmer, from high school. More specifically, he quotes the Quran, whoever kills one person, it is as if he has killed all of mankind. And whoever saves one person, it is as if he has saved all of mankind. He also sees Miss Marvel portrayed in the newspapers and opines to the rest of his family that Miss Marvel isn't dangerous to his mind. Perhaps though, she's a bit foolish. Of course, her dad remains clueless about her superhero alter ego for quite some time to come in the comics. But what about the MCU? Will Kamala fight and clash with her parents in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including what's to be revealed in the Disney Plus series? The MCU origin familial struggles. Well, of course, the Khan family will factor into the Miss Marvel miniseries on the Disney Plus channel a great deal too, I think. And from my review of the trailers, it is clear that the actress portraying Maniba will play the role initially of the tough but loving mom. In one scene, she's shown expressing her disapproval to Kamala about something she sees her daughter doing, saying, that's not you. My guess, it's not obvious in the trailer, but I think she probably catches Kamala in like a cosplay outfit or something like that, and that mama is not loving it. In another scene, Kamala picks up what appear to be the Negabands, where she'll be getting her powers from in the MCU, and says, cool, is this Nani's? And her mother snipes, that is just junk. Um, no, Mama Maniba, that is hardly junk. That is actually big time Cree technology that's gonna turn your daughter, Kamala, into one of the most pivotal and influential superheroes in the MCU. And meanwhile, you're treating it like something you're about to put in a box and sell at a tag sale for a buck. Parents, clueless, right? Now, like I indicated earlier, it's not just Kamala Khan or Miss Marvel herself who's going to have a continuing presence in the MCU post-miniseries. Her family will too. Actress Zenobia Shroff, who plays Kamala's mother, put out a social media post that confirms that she will appear in the MCU movie, The Marvels. And it would also seem that the actors playing Kamala's father, Moham Kapoor, and her brother, Sagar Shaikh, will appear in that movie too. Well, Kamala's a teenager, so you might imagine that her family should, to some degree, continue to factor into her storyline for some time to come in the MCU. She's not going to suddenly be living the single life in a penthouse apartment, of course. She's still a teenager attending high school. Do I think that you'll continue to see her struggle with the members of her family, regardless of whether they come to learn about her being Miss Marvel? Sure, because that's what teens and their parents tend to do fight, but also, especially if it's a healthy family unit, they'll do what a lot of families do too, and that's love and forgive one another, no matter how many fights break out. Well, that's enough out of me for now. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Subscribe to The Mama Saga for more comic book saga breakdowns, Salty Mama style. Thanks for watching. Take care.